Emma? It did uh, Super Rugby. It's your second or third season now playing Super Rugby. Um, just your expectations personally and for the team this year? Yeah, no, obviously personally it's just get as much game time as possible and you know, just growing as a player and growing with this bunch of guys. Look, we've got a good group here together and as a team we'll take it week by week. Um, so firstly we're just focusing on the Jags and then we'll take it from there. But expectations are quite high, the morale in the group is very high, so yeah, looking very forward to the season. You've sort of become the first choice with Malcolm not around. I mean, that's a new big challenge for you. Something, something that excites you quite a lot. Yeah, obviously. Look, Malcolm has been a mentor to me for the last two, three years. I mean, he's such a had such a massive impact, not just in South African rugby, but in the world rugby. So having him as a mentor was immense to me, especially that we got, grew quite close as well. So they are big shoes to fill, but I'm looking forward to the challenge, and hopefully, I can just put my stempel down as well. So there were some other guys, um, I don't know when you actually became, you know, into the senior group, but there was Hakka von Amara was mm. here and Robbie could see uh, quite a number of guys who played quite senior rugby at the stage. I mean, did they all have an impact on your growth? And oh, obviously, obviously. No, look, I mean, it's world-class players you're talking about there. Robbie Springbok as well, Akko Springbok and making waves overseas now. So, yeah, all played a massive role in me as a player growing and, yeah, thankful for whatever I could learn from them. If I see Malcolm still, still ask him a lot of questions. So, yeah, it's great. Good competition amongst the hookers? Yeah, it's obviously it's never, it's never easy when you get to this level, so you can't just take a step back and relax, especially with Jan and Marku and all the youngsters coming through as well. It's, you have to be on your game from second one, so no, it's good. It's good. I like the competition. It keeps you on your toes and keeps you a better player as well. Um, no, just uh, your expectations for the whole of Super Rugby with this Lions team. I mean, a lot of youngsters coming in this year, a lot of older guys who've moved on and but Yanni Duplessis is here around yeah. still, you know, so just, uh, you know, the squad makeup and that sort of thing. Oh, look, it's a good combination of youth and experience. Uh, the guys that came in from wherever they came, Yanni and I, especially from overseas, and Rulf and Andre and Duncan and everybody from Bulls and so on, and especially the talent that we grew from the under-21s and up. Um, as a group, we, like I said again, we'll take it week by week, but obviously we're excited to see what we can do uh, and make our mark as the new Emirates Lions and, you know, take Vodou Kumar Super Rugby by storm this year. Has Yanni played a big role so far in this team? No, obviously, Yanni, I mean, you can't, you wish stupid if you don't listen to a guy with that wealth of experience and knowledge. So everybody is always, when he speaks, you listen quite quite, uh, quite hard and you make sure you take in what he says. So yeah, no, look, I, I've learned a lot from him already and it's only been like a month, two months now. So he, his impact is immense and yeah, we need it. Okay. There, there's a sense, I suppose, of being such a young squad, you got, um, People don't exactly know what to expect from you guys this year. Um, but I suppose everybody's in that boat as well. Just you guys are expecting to surprise a few people. This year. Uh, without giving away too much, uh, we all do what we need to do and work on it week from week. But again, like I said, the, the excitement in the group is quite big and very exciting. Like I can say, everybody's gear is ready up now for this season. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep a surprise here and there. But yeah, it's, the expectations are quite high because, I mean, especially with the young group last year when we did so well in, in the Curry Cup. And now we just want to take that momentum into the Vodacom Super Rugby and just build on that. How important is next week's first game? I mean, it, it's, a, it's a derby or a conference game, so and playing there last year, you guys were the only team that won there. Yeah. Uh, look, that's the main focus even since last week. I know we played the Bulls, but not to take anything away from the Bulls. We focus on the Jags because we knew that was the first talk, and it's a big one, like you said. I uh, was lucky enough last year to be part of that and it's look, it's an immense challenge going there, it's tough circumstances but again, I think the group is ready for it, we know what challenge lies in front of us and we're ready to take it on. Coach Swain said for the last year that it's a bit better with Jack, it's a good thing, it's a good thing, for you also, for you also. Ja, as ek voel om hulle vroeg te vang, ek kan julle, daar is nie veel video werk wat hulle op jou kan doen het, en sikker goed nie, en weet, hulle gee hulle ook nie kans om jynig, als geen moment om met jynig gespannen in het nie, so dit hang af hoe goed jou voorseisoen was, en Hiesel het ons altyd een baie, baie goeie voorseisoen gehad, en so, dit is, dit is bykie van die ding van, jy weet, wat die, dis die onbekende factor, as ek het so kan sê, en die opgewondenheid speel een groot rol in die eerste wedstrijd. So ek dink dit is hoekom ons hulle vroeg wil kry. Um, dit het laas jaar vir ons gewerk, want toe het ons hulle hier, soos jy gesê, het ons is hier nog gespannen dat hulle daar gemeen het. En dit is definitief die doel weer om hulle vroeg daar te kry en te wen en met die punte weg te kom. En Pieter, net in termen van opgewondenheid, ek, ek veronderstel de sekker nog meer gegeven dat die, die voorseisoen eindelijk 
ongewoon lang was. Hmm. Voel je als spelers amper was dat een beetje te lang of, of is kan het niet eindelijk? Uh, ik, denk, ik denk het kan eindelijk te lang wees nie. Ik meen die, die detail en goed wat moet ingaan in seizoen en om waar ook om super actief te spelen is groot. Ik meen, je kan nie, je kan nooit sê jy het genoeg tijd nie. As jy elke africhter vraag hulle sê, jy sal soek net nog een week en as jy speler vraag net nog een sessie of so. So ek dink het was goed geweest dat het so lang was. Uh, ons het een goeie basis opgebouw met die, met die op een conditionering front en so. So ja, ek dink het was perfect geweest. Maar weer eens die opgemondheid om nou weer te gaan speel, dat is wel voor ons uitzien en zeker goed. So ja. Met die nieuwe afrachter in Span, die nieuwe hoofdafrachter en so, hoe, hoe vind jullie dit? Denk jullie dat het dinge gaan beter as wat het al van die verlede was en so? Uh, ek sal nie sê het gaan beter as die verlede nie, ek dink is net iets niets en as iets niets kom is het bykie meer opgewondenheid. Ek weet, is maar net een nieuwe, is een nieuwe fase in die Emirates Leeuwse geschiedenis as ek het so kan sê. So, ek dink is maar net dit en elkeen wil weer bewys, omdat allemaal nou die hele tijd sê, ons is een go- jong groep en jong africhters en wat ook al, ek dink het wil allemaal net wees wat in ons is en wat, soos ek sê, die, die verrassingselement wat ons kan bring en soeke goed. Ek dink dis maar die grootste drijfpunt achter het en ook net om die mense weer gelukkig te maak is op die Emirates News en so aan. Peter, you, you're a young guy in that, I mean, uh, was, uh, did you always play a hooker firstly and uh, is there anybody that you modeled your game on? I was always, I wasn't always a hooker, I was a bit faster when I was younger, but as time grew on I got slow and I, I enjoyed the physicality. Um, if I say I had to look up to someone, it would definitely be like a, oh, it was called Brits when I was quite younger and even a guy like John Smith, just the way he composed himself on the field and off the field, very well spoken and yeah, I just looked up immensely to him and the way he played as well, there was nothing fancy, if I can say it in that way, that he did, but whatever he did, he did. Excellent. His lineouts were good. His scrumming was good. His defense was immense. And the role as a captain he played. I mean, it's always, it's always nice to look up to someone like that with that, with that, the way he carried himself. Again, like I said, that's the main thing I looked up to. Yeah, so, d- what position did you play at high school and those sort of things? No, high school I was a hooker, but okay. I, sometimes I did slot in at eight man. I enjoyed it. I, like I said, I, I was always a bit taller when I was younger. But as time grew, and you know, some guys grow a bit earlier, and I was one of those. And yeah, I just enjoyed the more physicality stuff uh, of the side and. I wanted always to be close to like so one of the coaches decided now just let's put him up front so and I've never looked back since. Do you have a nickname? No, they call me Big Piston. I don't know why they call me that, but yeah, that's what they call me and it's grown out now in the team and everybody knows that, so yeah, it's it's good. Oh you ball beat to play line star and there's Mel too much. I don't know if I can say that, but if you look at what Malcolm has achieved in his life, I think I try myself not every time to get on his flag and you want to meet on his flag, so it was always good to see him along with him and to meet him because you know that if you get good with him, he's on international standards. So I've learned a lot from this time. I think it's still as big as that my basics must be good and for all my good ones. It's just that I've learned that the competition with Malcolm was just phenomenal good. Thank you. Thank you.